Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I've been working on this for a couple days and I wanted to share with you guys uh, my homemade tripods. Um, I hope you guys like it. Um, but yeah, let me start right here. This is a um, little cheap one. I keep buying, they keep breaking all the time. As you can see, like I got crazy glue here. This is the one I use all the time to record cheap stuff, you know. And then my wife asked me to buy uh, a new one, you know, something nice. And I was going to, but I was like, you know what, let me see if I can make my own, something different, something will pop. So it's right here. This is my first prototype. Did not work out <laughs> at all. Uh, but uh, that's how it, that's why it looks like. I tried to solder the whole thing together. It just you know, I don't have the right tools, and uh, and so every time I try to sit on one leg in, the other one will come loose. And then on the inside, I try to put a little bracket there so it holds the whole thing together. And not bad though. I mean, it was an idea. And then uh, I came up with this. And this one here is the same idea, as you can see. It's just one of those uh, flex. Uh, tied down what they call um, right here gear tie so you can see a little pieces missing right here but yeah let me uh, show you guys uh, how I put all this together all right so you put all three of them together with a rubber band or for anything else you want a piece of wire once you have them like this then you put this one on top of it and what you want to do is make sure you have it right in the middle. Something like this. Like that. Then you want to mark everything. With a little sharpie. Looks about right there. So once you get all the markings done, as you can see, right there, then you get your grinder or saw, hand saw, whatever you want, and then you want to slide it, you want to grind it all the way down this far, right here. That's, that'll be your marking. And then what I did was, I ended up cutting it right on the inside of the marking. This way, when um, when it was time to put it all together, it was nice and, and tight. And once you're done, you're gonna look something like this. Take the legs off. It's gonna look something like this. You can actually still see the little markings right there from the sharpie. So I just cut right in front of it. And there. That's what it looks like from the inside. And it is tight. It won't come off. You, you can see the metal, the copper, kind of lost the shape a little bit. As um, I got two by four, and then I just push them in nice and tight. This is what the pipe looks like. I cut off each end like this. I open the whole thing up and I measure how much I want it to keep. So I believe this one's about 12 inches long. So essentially what you want is this thing right here, the L, to go inside one of these little holes here. There you go. Go like this. As you can see now from here you can see it's in there.
So I think both legs they match. And then on the inside, as you can see, they are pretty even. The bottom of the legs, they look the same. No, actually, uh, let me take it off, show you guys. It's just a piece of, you know, metal was cut. And then I put one of these little caps, which are, I got this one from Lowe's, because Home Depot didn't have any. All they are is gray screw protectors. That's why they are half inch. Then you just slide it over. And yeah, looks like this. And then to glue everything together, I didn't I didn't want to use epoxy because just in case I ever break a leg, I want to be able to heat it up a little bit and and be able to slide everything out. So what I'm using is the glue gun. Okay, right here, not too much. Then hopefully you found you find the right hole right here, and you put it in. And yep, that's what you want to see. You see how it came out? So that one is done. I'm not gonna fold it yet because I still need to put the other ones through. There you have it. All three legs are um, assembled. They all match. Even if they don't match, it's fine. You can take one of these, uh, you can take the bottom off and just cut it and make all three of them even. But, uh, but yeah. And then uh, you can see inside. All you need to do now is fold, fold them. Just. First one will be a little bit difficult, but there you go. Once you fold the first one, and the other one just folds right over it. All three of them on top of each other. Then you can just shoot some glue in there, just to make sure. And last but not least, is gonna be the swivel head. So I got this one's on eBay. I only pay um, three fifty a piece. They made of aluminum, and I knew I knew they they were not going to fit. They were slightly bigger, and that was fine. I just got my grinder, and I grinded everything off just a little bit. As you can see, kind of messed up a little bit, but no big deal. This one swivels all the way around, and it has the ninety on it. And yeah, just simply uh grind off whatever you don't need just to make sure it fits and there have it um, make sure you need to drill a hole here at whatever height you want it so I want it there that's the hole push it in there you have it Here it is. That's your tripod. Of course, you can just glue it as well, which I ain't gonna glue it. Um, so you don't have this little movement here. But yeah, that it. That's how it looks like. You can see the little gap. Not much. And again, if you need to disassemble anything, you can just uh, get a heat gun, heat everything up, and the glue will melt, and you'll be able to slide it out. Uh, but once it cools, it is really hard. You can barely see inside there. Here's my uh, homemade tripod. All right, so let me show you how this one was done. This one here was done. So, you know, once you measure how much you want, of course, if you have a brand new one, you're gonna have two little ends left. So, but this is just basically the, uh, the stuff I didn't need it. I didn't need. So, you cut it to whatever length you want to make your tripod. Then you just cut it. It's just a wire inside. 
I'm gonna make everything nice and straight. And this doesn't really matter because at the end you can trim it, which I'm gonna trim this one because I only have one of them. So, and this is probably the hardest part here was to put them together. Got some, I think it'll be very hard to see, but this is what I got here. This is some fishing line, ice fishing. Okay, so you start here somewhere on the bottom and little by little you start because what you want to do is you want to compact you want to compress this material as much as possible and the first time around you don't have to go crazy you just have to get it on the best you can and make sure they're all nice and straight too the second the second time then you want to go and really really try to get it nice and tight and keep as you can see it keeps um, compressing the uh, material if you need a little more you can keep going hope you guys can see this it is going in and then you can push it in as much as you want. Once you remove the fishing line, you can put some crazy glue in it, and then you end up with something like this. So you can see it's already dirty, I'm using it a lot, but it doesn't move, stays there. You can twist the whole thing, and this baby will not come loose right there there you have it okay everyone well thank you so much I hope uh, you like uh, my homemade tripods I think they look pretty cool but yeah if you like it please like share subscribe and leave a comment all right later